Okay. I hear a lot of theory versus practicality in there too. Absolutely. Like they, Absolutely. they're giving you the understanding of what is actually going on with you, and you're giving them the enlightenment to move forward after they 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 get the understanding. You know, because a lot of times too, when people hear different diagnoses, they think that that's the end, or that you know I'm going to always be this way, or they yeah. get real stuck and finite in in those diagnoses, and I think. Yeah. That's where the life coach comes in to be that motivator that says just because you're struggling with X, Y, and Z doesn't mean that you can't overcome or doesn't mean that you can't move forward or mm -hmm. um, even progress in life. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been a life coach? I have been a life coach now for seven years. Okay. I recently completed my master certification a year ago. Mm -hmm. Master certification as in so you went to college for, to become a life coach? No, so there's uh, different licensing pr programs that you can okay. uh, join, even though life coaching isn't necessarily a regulated, um, it's less of like we don't have to have licenses by the state or anything of that nature, mm -hmm. but there are certain programs that are more in depth and more um, under, um, more um, integrated with making sure that, you know, what you're doing from an ethical standpoint as a life coach is monitored and, you know, things of that nature. So okay. um, as a master life coach, I have the ability to train other coaches as well okay. as teach on, uh, you know, individual group mm -hmm. level. Okay. That's interesting. You know, I had a question about ethics. So let me see if I could. In fact, um so go on, let's I, I thought i had a question but i can ask a question so what when you talk about the ethics of life coaching because i wouldn't necessarily i would obviously uh think about some of those implications 